Dark matter and dark energy have been the focus of research in cosmology for quite a few years now. Given that they both contain the word dark, it is understandable why the general public often confuse the two. However, the explanation for dark matter and dark energy have nothing to do with each other. Dark matter is missing mass in the universe. Dark energy is causing the universe to expand faster. Now, the videos on this channel describe the evidence for both dark matter and dark energy. This evidence is really compelling. However, scientists do not know what dark matter and dark energy actually are. So the focus of this video will be to present to you the best scientific explanation for each, and we will start with dark matter. Let's review the observed properties of dark matter. In this picture, we see a galaxy called M33, and a plot of the measured star velocities, the data points with error bars, as a function of distance from the galactic center. The upper curve is a fit to this data. The lower curve represents the prediction based on the luminosity of the galaxy. It is evident that these two curves do not match, and that is a problem, namely called galaxy rotation problem. The two previous curves would match if there was an extra component of matter called dark matter, and all the total weight of dark matter were six times more than all atoms. Another observed effect of dark matter is that it does not seem to change with time. One possibility to account for this missing mass is to think of dark matter as a new, stable, subatomic particle that has not yet been discovered in a laboratory. Before doing that, let's review the subatomic particles that were certain exist and that have been observed. These are the currently known subatomic matter particles made up of two classes, quarks and leptons. Quarks fill the strong nuclear force field, and several quarks compose the proton and neutron. Leptons, however, do not feel the nuclear force and are not observed in the nucleus of the atom. All of these particles have been observed in laboratory experiments. All atoms are made up of up and down quarks and electrons. The top quark discovered in 1995, is a single subatomic particle that weighs as much as a gold atom. Perhaps someday, a dark matter particle will be added to this list. If dark matter is a new, heavy, subatomic particle not yet observed, then countless numbers were formed in, in the Big Bang and are still flying through our universe today. If that is true, there might be as many as 10 dark matter particles flying through my hands right now. Remember, the first observation of dark matter came about 80 years ago, but still scientists have no idea on what dark matter really is. I will now move on to a possibly more enigmatic problem, which is dark energy. The first evidence of dark energy came with the observed accelerated expansion of the universe. That is very surprising, because due to the pull of gravity, the expansion should actually be slowed down. In order to discuss the best model of dark energy, we have to understand the concept of vacuum of empty space. No, not this kind of vacuum. We are also not talking about the empty space in between galaxies. We are talking about the empty space between atoms, which is normally called by scientists true vacuum. Even though we said that there are no real particles occupying true vacuum, we are entering the realm of quantum mechanics, and at this scale we will find vacuum fluctuations also called quantum fluctuations. A 
as shown in this picture, there are sometimes pairs of particles and antiparticles created and destroyed almost instantaneously. These fluctuations could lead to a positive net vacuum energy, which would create a pressure that would cause a repulsion of space itself, hence creating the accelerated expansion of the universe. This positive net vacuum energy is the favorite model of dark energy. It agrees best with current cosmology data, but not at all with the particle physics models. In principle, the standard model of particle physics should allow scientists to predict the value for the true vacuum energy. However, there is one huge colossal problem. When the calculation is done, the predicted value is way too large and is off by 120 orders of magnitude. So while it is not a surprise to scientists that there is dark energy, the measured value is just way too small. This discrepancy is the largest of any comparison between data and modern scientific theory. This is what makes dark energy so interesting to scientists and the subject of many new experiments to measure its properties. To summarize, dark matter and dark energy are two of the most interesting puzzles in science, and they're not at all the same. The favorite scientific model for dark matter is the existence of a new subatomic particle, but one that is a good candidate has not yet been observed even though we have had indirect evidence for dark matter for the past 80 years. The favorite scientific model for dark energy is positive net energy of the vacuum. However, when predictions from particle physics are compared with the observations, there is a discrepancy of 120 orders of magnitude. All of these factors make research for dark matter and dark energy of extreme interest for the future. Thank you for watching.